Club Mead and this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Mead kids connect with the International Space Station. MPs raise their training game and flu shot season is coming. These stories and more, but first a reminder, Major General Omar Jones, the commanding general of the Military District of Washington and Fort Meade Senior Commander, is hosting a town hall for installation housing residents on Tuesday, October 8th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Post Theater. General Jones, Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague, and housing representatives will be on hand to provide updates on ongoing housing issues and address new ones as well. If you can't make it to the theater, the town hall is being streamed live on our Facebook page. In other news, the International Space Station is traveling in orbit 254 miles above the Earth, moving at more than 17,000 miles per hour. The crew of nine is in the middle of Expedition 60 that ends in October. Flight engineer Nick Haig, an Air Force colonel, took some time out last week to speak with some youngsters at the Child and Youth Services Teen STEM Center. Very good morning to you, Nick. Uh, Nick, we have the students from the Children's Inn Middle School Teen Center in Fort Meade, Maryland, standing by for you. Uh, please go ahead with the first question. Over. Do you have any custom greetings for arriving astronauts? Over. You know, we, we, we do, and it's, uh, it's a custom of friendship. That was the first of many questions posed by the kids. We asked a couple of them what they remembered the most. Nick A telling me he has a little bit of a sweet tooth. They actually do eat Thanksgiving dinner for Thanksgiving, and I'm like, Mm. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the talk with the astronauts is part of the Explorer program sponsored by Raytheon. Fort Meade CYS Teen STEM Center participated in a series of experiments over the summer and was selected to talk with the space station. There were some prizes along with that and we, we participated in two of those activities. We tried to do three. Um, we went ahead and filled out a survey and uh, immediately afterwards we were notified that we were selected to talk to the astronauts on the International Space Station. It was just an incredible event. Um, knowing, knowing how fast he's going, knowing what they're up to, the caliber of people that they are, um, it was just, I had chills. Back on Earth, training is a way of life in the military. If you noticed some higher than normal police activity last week, you were watching the Fort Meade military police engage in a variety of realistic training scenarios. Why am I being detained? I am not be help me so last week what we did was we trained on a myriad of different calls for service that our military police here would respond to if they were doing law enforcement on the installation so some of those include domestic violence response um, larceny in progress, high-risk traffic stops, gate runners. So we trained on a myriad of different calls for service that these guys would expect to get while they're working the road here on Fort Meade. Of course, the 241st has trained in the past, but Captain Chin says they wanted to raise their training game. The goal was, was to basically have a training environment that was very realistic, so that's why we were all out over the installation doing the training. Um, to make it like it was real life, we want to train how we fight. Um, and most of the guys that we have in the unit right now, a lot of them are brand new. So when this time rolls around next year um, and we up it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit more challenging for these guys, they're already going to have a team that's been built based off this initial exercise and them working and training for next couple quarters. So we'll be able to take the exercise to a new level next year. In other news, this is Hispanic Heritage Month. The Fort Meade Dental Health Activity Dentac and the Garrison Equal Opportunity Office co-hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance this week at Club Mead. <laughs> This year's guest speaker was Captain Mercedes Benitez McCrary. Benitez McCrary is a captain in the U.S. Public Health Service and is currently a senior advisor at Medicare and Medicaid. A final reminder this week, flu season is ahead and Kimbrough has published a tentative flu shot schedule. Tentative because it's dependent on vaccine availability. Flu shots are scheduled right now from October 21st through November 1st from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at McGill Training Center. Kimbrough is also staging a shot clinic at the main exchange on November 12th through the 15th. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spen for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.